the graphics become more photo real in video games, the stories tend to follow. If we were really stuck in a zombie apocalypse, it might be as terrifying as Left 4 Dead, but in no way would it be as fun. At least not for me. Maybe it's time for video games to start just being video games. Filled with plot holes, unexplained power-ups, and a big splash of color. We are in a period where everything is like photo real. It's almost like people said video games should be like movies that you control a little bit. And for us, video games have always been the thing that brought us to video games. It's the interaction, it's the, the you can do crazy stuff, and it really is uh, fantasy fulfillment. The makers of Sunset Overdrive love the idea of a zombie-like apocalypse taking place in a game that just wants to be a game. We really want players to express themselves in the game. It's not just about the rules and laws have gone away, so you can do what you want and go around bouncing on cars, blowing up things, but also the social rules have gone away, and so if you want to dress up like a crazy person, let your freak flag fly and uh, instead set overdrive. The city is not one you'll recognize, but that was the goal. The game is tied to nothing but your thumbs. We had a game jam here early in development where we let people work on whatever they wanted to, and one of our designers was feeling that our world was pretty flat, and it actually did look a lot like Burbank at the time. And he built this crazy vertical world, and we shifted off from Burbank to this just much more fantastical Neo-Tokyo. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, but it looks cool and it's fun to play in, city. Okay. What is it? Okay, in video games, you can run and jump without getting winded. Traversal is one of our big features in the game. We wanted the traversal to be really grounded in the world, and so we built the whole world around this idea of moving through it. Almost everything in the world is either bounceable or grindable or wall runnable or you're able to swing on it. Traversing is a really important part of the game, both for moving through the world and in how it influences combat. What you do affects everything around you, right? The music changes depending on what you're doing. Cues you in, am I in danger right now? Well, yeah, the music's telling me there's, I'm in danger, clearly. I can't, can't get away from the orchestra. Insomniac is known for its crazy weaponry thanks to its wildly popular Resistance and Ratchet and Clank franchises. So you know they're not gonna skip out on the inventive arsenal in this game. No exception with the weapons. We've got everything from Roman candle gun to uh, what we call the Captain Ahab, which is this, this harpoon that has overcharge attached to it that'll attract Odeed. And then my favorite, the T and Teddy, which is this poor little teddy bear who actually wiggles around and tries to escape with the dynamite attached to him and a little bazooka-like shooter, and you, you launch it out. He screams, says something cute, and then blows up. Our expectations have gotten a little too real with these video games of ours. Maybe it's time to roll up our sleeves and shoot some soda pop infected creatures with a teddy bear bomb and call it a day.